Hi everybody, it's Julie, and today we are going to be making some of our glue seals with findings in them. We need to make two, and our children's tchotchke charm make three. So to start off with, I wanted to, I know this works with hot glue, but I wanted to try this with our um, fabric tack. And so we, I have taken a piece of acetate and I have it in two parts here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make two puddles. Actually, I want to put some paper underneath, okay? So I'm gonna put a little paper under them and that is so that I have something that I can use to attach this to um, to something okay so I'm going to go ahead and just put this on that will help to hold it down for now okay and if I if I knew this was going to work for sure I'd go ahead and and put more down. Let's see, do we have, <laughs> we have all these glues. Do we have the one that, you know what, let's <laughs> go ahead and open this and close it. Okay, we are going to make a large puddle on both of these, of our glue. Then we're gonna put down our little tchotchke thing. Okay, it sounds like my glue bottle might have a hole, might have a hole in it. Okay, here we go. Glue is down at the... And I was going to take the one that was... Okay. The, the glue that was wetter. But I think this will dry faster. Okay, so that is giving me a pile. I have um, I have a shell here. I have a rock. I have a shell. So I'm thinking the shell would be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and put the shell in here. Okay, and then I'm going to cover it with more of our fabric tag. It's not going to be super flat because the shell is not super flat. Okay? So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and tap it down. And then I've got a couple bubbles, so let's pop the bubbles. So there's my shell. And for this one, it's stuck. It's always something. It's always, always something. Mm 
Okay, so I'm doing this on Wednesday, so we'll see how long it takes for these to dry. Okay, so there's my first section. And what if we put a key? Okay, then we'll come back and we'll cover the key. Okay, so I have a shell and I have a key. Put on here with a blob of, I'm going to use, um, I used fabric tack. We're going to set these aside and let them dry. And I don't know how long it's going to take, but we'll have those aside. Okay, so next um, we are going to make some charms. And so I thought we could go ahead and we have, so this is our tchotchke charms. A, a set of little tiny stickers, which I think are really, really fun and really cute and could be something that would be in a child's pocket along with this little um, label. Just thinking of things that they might have put in their pocket. I have this little piece of um, oh, we're going to put it the other side says giggle giggler. So we'll put that side up. Okay. So, a little piece from a dictionary. Okay. And then we're going to add our, this little elephant. Okay. So we have dictionary, sticker, huh, hoarded, <laughs> but it's hoarded stickers. Um, okay. I think we'll go around this with the, the metal pen. gold metal pin. Okay, so sticker, dictionary, this is my U-Pick gold pen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let's put a little teeny hole in this. Okay, we're going to add a teeny hole. Can use a bulb pen. Okay, so a little bulb pen. And then we can use a jewelry, bead, or a charm. You know what? Let's go in this drawer. See if we can find. I have a 
Jingle Bell. If I can't find a bead, I've got a Jingle Bell. So. Looking for a bead. I've got some blue. Got a big gold bead. A sequin. Ooh, that's pretty. Um. We have a little pearly. Okay, so we can put a little pearly bead on there. And that would give us a charm. Now we can go ahead and cover that with um, glossy accents. And I think that will be a great way to finish off our little elephant. Okay, so I'm just adding the glossy accents here. And turning this into a really cute little charm. Okay, so like we did before, go ahead and you do need to pop the bubbles. Okay. Pop the bubbles. Okay. Okay, so there we go. We got A little elephant charm. Okay, for our next one, we have a Coca Cola cap or MGD draft cap. trying to think what I can put on the outside of this or a button I could do a large button okay so there got a large button have the coca-cola which the cool thing about these is you can use your crocodile and put a hole in it okay so you can have a hole in your bottle cap So we have, we have put a hole in our bottle cap. Okay, so for this one, um, let's see. We do, we have more stickers. And let's see, which sticker do we want to? I think we'll do the tiger, possibly. Okay, so for this, I have a number. This is a um, flinch card printed really small, three and a half by five. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and, ah, it's just gonna be too big. So we'll go ahead and cut it with this one. Yeah, I'm kind of working on two things at one time because I got, my brain got stuck. <laughs> Okay, so we have trash. We have a number. We're going to go ahead and put glossy accents down. Okay, all around in there, all the way over to the edge. And we have a bubble. We'll pop the bubble. Pop the bubble. Pop bubble, pop the bubble, pop the bubble, okay, go ahead and put this in. Come in. Go ahead and add some more glossy accents. So, bottle cap. Yeah, I definitely think you could find a bottle cap in a in a kid's pocket or in their purse. Okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna put the little monkey in there. little monkey I'm just gonna put a thin layer over the top of the monkey that bubbles over here again And so we've got numbers, sticker, number sticker trash. Okay. How about a rock? I have a little tiny rock. I'm just gonna put some on this one side. Okay, so. Let's see, we've got animal or sticker. We could put a little piece of, okay, trash, number, and then the monkey, which is either an animal or a, 
I'm sorry, I'm looking at the list, you guys. Okay, well, I think we did good with that one. Because what we can do is we, we still can add some of this yarn. Okay, so we can add some yarn to it or something also. Okay, so that is number two. And then number three, I like the button. The button, I also have this leaf charm. Okay, so that's a jewelry bead, jewelry or bead. So a leaf, that, okay, yarn, tangled. Okay. So that can go behind the button. Okay. I think we'll cut this off here. Okay, we can collage on the button. Let's see if we take some dictionary. Again, the glossy accents is perfect for this. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put that down. Tap this down. Pull this over so it's covering the whole of the button. Yeah, like that. Okay, and then I'm thinking the lion or the rhinoceros. I think we'll go with the lion or the tiger. We'll do the lion. So we have a little lion. I think we'll continue our collage over here. Under. Just a thin line on top. Okay. 
so there's one. This one needs, it needs a little something. Oh, you know what? It can have a bead. Let me grab. Okay, there was a, or the button, the green button. Kind of like the green button. all the way up like this. Okay, so that button will come down in front. Okay, so we have our little charm that we made out of paper. So a little paper charm and the bead up here will come down. Then we have this collaged button and we have our bottle cap. So three tchotchke charms. I have some other fun things in here that I'll be able to use um, in, you know what is this? Okay, so we've got this little guy. We can put that on here. With, uh, with some of this behind it, maybe. Oh, Why not do another one, right? this around and then I'm going to double tie it <clears throat> okay then I'm going to take this and I have this ready got it ready we're gonna put that right in there it's a ribbon um, closure but we're gonna close it on this piece of paper okay let's give it its closure it's a uh, How are you going to tie it into? There we go. And I think we had a green bead. Yeah. Okay, so there's the green bead. From our stickers, a giraffe is too tall. our tiger. I'm going to go with our tiger. I am going to see if I can get a little bit of ink on here. Okay, so just to change the color a little bit. Okay, 
again we'll use the, the glossy accents make it shiny like a charm and I'm going to grab some glue off here here okay so we have an elephant a tiger a lion and a monkey So we actually made four, which is fine. Okay, so I do still have these left. And so I think we'll save those for another project. But I have four little um, four charms. So four children's tchotchke charms. And I have my two, what did we call these, glue, list is gone, oh it's over here, two uh, glue seals with findings in them, okay, so I do still need to, um, to decorate those with my four things. Okay, so what can we do to these? I think this one we can add, we can go ahead and it can have a, a bulb pin or a jump ring. I do have a jump ring here. And what if we go ahead and see if we have, we have a bead. It'll fit, yeah, we got a bead. And oh my gosh, you guys, we have a buckle. <laughs> but I don't want to use that there. But we do have a buckle. That's something that on our list of things that we can. So we have a charm and a bead. Really careful because it's still wet. So at least it has, that is on there, so. Okay, charm and a bead. And old paper, charm and a bead and old paper. Which the charm and the bead is on the same, same thing. Okay, so, okay, let's put this one back on here. Little bit 
the glue. Okay, I'm gonna put that back up and let it continue to dry. Okay, um, let's see. We could have something hang off of that in this. Do we have an animal small enough? The little, the little tiger, or leopard, or whatever it is, cheetah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but there's a little tiny animal here, and so it can go in here. So that gives us a sticker. Okay. So this can hang off of off of one of those. We could do some messy string and have that ready. Okay, so this is how we do messy string. Okay, every pair of scissors is missing. <laughs> How does that happen? All I can find is the giant, the giant scissors. Okay, so this can go like this. do is we go ahead and attach this. This is double-sided tape. Okay, and I have that is ready for one. And you know what I had was, oh, you know we have the lace. The lace can go under one. Do lace, messy string. Okay, so this would be yarn or trim or ribbon out of the things that we have. use this one it will be done it will have old paper and a charm okay so that one was key or charm and then let's see we've got this
got some old paper. Okay, some old paper. I mean, this definitely needs something. I have this die cut that I found. What if we put that under there? I think that helps. The, there's bubbles in there. They kind of look like sand. <laughs> bubbles? They kind of look like sand. Okay. So if we turn this into a charm also. And we had our hole up here in this corner. And then we could also have our little or we could just put this guy on here. Yeah, okay, so. Okay, let's go ahead, I'm gonna come down here through okay so this is the one that we made with the glue we could put the giraffe right there on the paper yep I like that giraffe on the paper right there Kind of underneath. Okay. There we go. Okay, where's the. So this one we can save for somewhere. And let's go ahead and we'll. Okay, makes me think of the jungle. I love it. I think we'll go ahead and... Oh, I like that. It's gonna, it's gonna twirl. It's gonna twirl. Curl. It's gonna twirl, it's gonna curl. Okay. Let's go ahead and we'll put a little glossy accents on the leaf. Whoop. <laughs> okay, so we have our children's tchotchke charms. And we have our glue seals with findings in them. And we made those kind of into a charm and a cluster as well. So we used the acetate to, to build those. I think that worked really well. And they'll just need to cure, okay? They're dry, but now they need to cure all of them. The glossy accents are not dry. But we'll let everybody dry and I think they are so
so darn, so darn cool. Okay, I have just a couple minutes to show you the easiest way, and that is to do this with a glue gun. Okay, so I have my, my um, mat here, and I'm just gonna do this on my mat. I have some circles. I've cut the circle out, added the gold around the outside to give me a second um, thing. So um, just so you know, these glue sealed um, items, the glue seals with findings, um, they are to be a cluster. I forgot to put that in the the directions in the beginning but um yeah so you can go ahead and so here i have scrapbook paper which is one of is my you pick or my extra pick and i have my pen which is my you pick and um then we are going to go ahead and we're going to add uh something into the center so i've added some some glue to the glue gun and hopefully it'll pull it out there we go oh we're gonna be a little golden which is okay especially if you're doing like a dinosaur that would be really cool right okay so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll put the the buffalo or bison in here okay be really careful because this is hot glue Okay, and you want to work faster than I'm working. Okay, so I'm going to put down my my lion in there, and then I'm going to go ahead and put more glue on top. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my seal. I have a seal with a heart, so it's pretty plain. I'm going to clean that off, and I'm going to go ahead and press that down and hopefully it'll go all the way to the edges and we'll let it stay. I was gonna look and see what other, I have one with a flower. I used to, where's my other one? Oh, the other one is a rose. Okay. So I kinda liked the heart. So we're letting this dry and then we'll and cool down and then we'll pull it off and so I think I want to do the um, alligator or crocodile because I like the green and then I'm going to do the zebra okay and let's go ahead and see if it's time that we can pull this off you do want some of the glue on the outside because that gives you something to pull okay and I like to do the paper on the back because then I have something to go ahead and to um, to put down okay so there's that one earlier I did the hippopotamus and the rhinoceros okay so I have those to go in the journal and then, um, so let's go ahead and we'll do the crocodile. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put this, and I wanna put a little more glue than I, I did this last time. I love the green, um, so I'm trying to use green things because this uh, book, the cover is green and there's so much green in the, in the book itself. Okay, so there we've got that. Then we'll go ahead and we'll add glue there and add glue there. Put glue on top. Make sure we've got plenty to go around it. I'm gonna clean that off. See if that helps. Okay, so my crocodile is in that direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and you see how it came off? Mmm, I like that. Okay. So my next one will do the zebra. Now, um, we ha again, we have some scrapbook paper here. And I'm like, what do I, do I have anything 
what if we take a piece of this oh good green came out right away okay I think I just want it to look like it's a branch. Just look like you're just look like you're a branch in there, okay? So let's go ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in there with the zebra just to try something different. We're gonna go ahead and lift this up. We've got the stringies and pull it off. And there we have our crocodile. Okay, so we're gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue down. I want to put this in there and I want my zebra on top. Okay, I need help. I don't want to don't want to touch the glue. Okay. There we go. Okay. And you know what? I think Okay, here we go. Put your head down, put your legs down. And here we go. I'm going to add the glue. I'll put a big old pile of glue on there. Okay, so. There we go. So here is our crocodile, our hippopotamus, our buffalo or bison, and our hip oh, that was a rhino. <laughs> this is a hippopotamus. I thought they were fun because they have eyes. And so, oh, you know, the other one I wanted to, I was going to add some of the string. It is glue. We can go ahead and add that down there. Okay. So that one had scrapbook paper, you pick gold pen, sticker, and yarn. And that is a cluster. And of course it can get added onto the lace or onto something. I think I want it, I would want to put it on something green. So, or add green. So yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see how this one turned out still a little warm. We'll pull it off though. Go all the way around, pull it off, and this is what we've got. Our little zebra is jumping for joy there. He's jumping for joy. I like him very much. Whoops, don't undo the... Okay, so this was kind of an interesting set of fun things, and um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add that down there because then it'll already be be done and it'll we'll have well we already have a yarn so but there we go I love it which one's your favorite so um, yeah so I'll come in and maybe we'll add some of the the string um, another thing we can do is 
I like these two turned out better. Um, I think the uh, I think I think there was something on the the thing. So the other thing is you can come in with your fingernail polish and add some some glitter. I do have glitter glue, but um, it's I don't think it would be see through, so I didn't didn't add that. Just giving that little extra touch. This one looks like it's resin. That one is cool. <laughs> it's also a different glue stick company. That could be the difference. Okay. Okie dokie. We did our children's tchotchke charms. Children's tchotchke charms and our our glue seals we got a bunch of both and so our glue seals we needed two that had the four items so this one has scrapbook paper gold pen uh, sticker and yarn and this one has the scrapbook paper gold pen sticker and yarn so I love I love the way those turned out okay so in the beginning I showed you and I did these first because they're gonna take longer to dry um, and these are the shell inside of fabric tack and you can see it's bubbling it bubbled okay but it's still it looks like sand actually it looks really cool and then this one is the key. Okay, so we have key, old paper, lace, and a bead. Okay, and the bead is just kind of hanging down there. Remember, these are to be things that would be found in a child's pocket or in their purse. Um, on this one, we added our sticker is over here. There's a shell inside there. We've got this piece of die cut some uh, dictionary and some lace okay love 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 those this one I use that old button and I have added the lion down here some dictionary and one of the Tim Holtz old papers and we have this leaf that can also come in I think I need I, I need it to not come down after all. I don't want it to cover up my um, my lion. I don't want it to cover my lion. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll tie it around that so it doesn't doesn't fall down, okay? And remember, I always say there's there's a way to fix it. Whatever you, whatever the problem is, whatever, even if the fixing is just taking it out and not using it where you planned on using it. Okay. So there's our leaf. We have. Okay, so these are, we're now into the tchotchke charms. Okay, so... There you go. Button, sticker, scraps of paper might be found. Okay, then we go to here. We've got a Coca-Cola bottle cap. We have a little button that's shiny and sparkly. We have a rock and we have a monkey. And we have numbers in there. Okay, so this, this one is that like that. Then we have our paper charm. And it has the dictionary, the label, the elephant, and the bead. And this one, I love this one. So another paper lab, uh, label. This one is on um, a ribbon holder. And you've got your dictionary, your sticker, a bead, and 
the um, some of the yarn so that is what we have we still have this little guy here will he fit now he's gonna go somewhere he's gonna get a home <laughs> And, but I, I, you know what, let's just put him right now. We'll put him on. <laughs> we'll put him on here. Like that. Maybe with a green button. Behind it. Okay. There we go. Okay, um, where did my snail go? I had a snail, oh, it stuck to my arm. <laughs> I had a snail sticker, but I didn't use it. I was gonna use that as for a shell. So there you go, that is today's video. We made, we finished another two embellishments. We finished our children's tchotchke charms and our glue seal so these are the ones um we did hot glue and we did regular glue i would not use glossy accents for this because it doesn't pile it continues it spreads out so no i it needs to have that that look okay that that look okay this is this one's ideal I love that one love 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 it so okay find something to celebrate every day have an amazing day make sure you let me know which um, items you're looking to see me make that you're not sure about um, in the comments down below so that I can do those next or I can um, refer you to a video that might show you how to do it so that you can get it done sooner. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.